Okay, film it. This is uh, Nick and Emily. Yeah. Hey, Peter, we got uh, eight rolls of your lights to bring it down and we'll send you around the 19th of August from Quito. Take care, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Okay, cool. So I just uh, added some switches on here so that this can go between green and blue and red. Now, the whites get really low. I don't recommend using the red, but it's there. The red would probably be better if the whites were bypassed. But there's a green, a blue. And the white's working. So just gotta do that three, four more times. There's a little circuit using two two-way switches that can have two states, zero and one. Red when it's left, when it's right, it's either green or blue depending on the second switch's position. And this is what it looks like here. So, have got the uh, negative coming into the middle of this switch. And one side's connected. Oh, wait a minute. Positive's coming into this switch. And one side of the positive is um, the red on the bottom. The top is going to the next switch, which controls the green and the blue wires. And then, yeah, there we go. Anyways. Welcome to the finishing of the last strand of the mighty, massive water woman project. We're going to bring the light to the forest, uh, actually to the jungle. Vilcabamba, Ecuador. Told my beautiful piece who I won't see this year. I hope to see her next year. And put a lot of love into these lights. And I've had a lot of people around me put a lot of love into me. For these lights, I have a lot of love. And I'm going to show you how to finish the last strand here now. <laughs> 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 and so this is how it's been for two months. Yeah. I did this project for seven hundred and fifty dollars, but this is uh it's an excellent chance for me to have a showcase piece, you know, to put in my portfolio. There's almost two kilometers of wire. It's a pretty hefty order. Okay, so what we do here is take this white wire and put two small pieces of shrink wrap so that I've got one that can go up each side after those are soldered. And that's a little loop that's going to tie together one of these switches, which has two states, left and right, or one and zero, whatever you want to call it. There's a middle pin and then two pins on the outside. When I'm this way, it's connected between the two left pins when I'm this way it's two right pins. So the center pin is the common pin which you know this here switch action. So now we've got a little circuit here. Did a diagram. It's good to write things out and figure it out. The middle pin here is connected with the positive voltage on the bottom of the first pin and on the uh, left. And if you switch the switch this way, the, the red will light. If you switch the switch this way, it'll switch over to the second switch, which will either light the green or the blue, depending on this position of the switch. Anyways, brilliant. Two switches, four colors of LEDs, 220 meters, last strand. Wow. Incredible. Okay, so. Make sure you plug in the soldering iron and wait for it to heat up. This will take about 45 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Anyways, okay. Um, this will take about 45 seconds. <laughs> so I've got a brown and a white wire here that um, I've connected these LEDs here. These are the whites, and uh, the negatives are all on the white, and the brown is connected to the positive the LEDs. So what I need to do is to take these and twist them together. Great lighting, eh? 
Here. There we go. I just twist those together a few times. And then strip the wire so that I can twist it to the battery pack connection. It should be over here. And so here we've got an orange white and a brown white. The orange and the brown go together and the white and the white go together. So you just get those V's together. Pull them apart a bit and then start twisting them on a nice 90 degree. You get that V shape. And get about uh, four or five twists in there. And then do it for the other. And now we should have power to this light strand. Trim it off at about uh, three turns, four turns, whatever you want. Now we're left with a blue and a white that aren't used in this string, so I bend those over, close them, stitch them together, and then cut a small piece of shrink tubing. Now, another LED with a single negative and positive could be put on this blue and white wire, which is kind of cool. With the Cat5, sometimes on these strings I was only using two wires. It means that there's six wires that can still take LEDs and whatnot. So heat that with a lighter on the blue part of the flame. Very cool. So now here's our positive and here's our negative of the LEDs. What we need to do is to attach the orange white wire to the negative. Need to strip a little more here. <laughs> Bring that together, wrap it around. Next stage is going to be to solder those on there and put some shrink tubing to keep them isolated from each other. And now we're left with not enough wires. Oops, wait, no, that's perfect. We've got uh, the red, the green, and the blue wire here. So next. Put some solder on each terminals of the switches, of the three switches. And then we need to tin the connections between the power. that up. Cut a small piece of shrink tube. Put that on one of the terminals and now the positive and negative won't touch. Hit that with the flame for almost two seconds. Then pinch it together. Grab a bigger piece of shrink tubing. those wires together. And I hate to say I'm going to use the word encapsulate both wires. <laughs> What's the problem with that word? No. It's too scientific. It's, too it's great. And you do that. Wait for a few seconds and then pull and pinch. So now we've got our power going, we've got our negative going from the LEDs uh, of the red, green, blue also. And this here, the brown and whites were the connection for the whites. So now we've got a switch here that's pretty clean. All we need to do is to pretend the leads of each of the red, green, blue wires. Just get some solder on them so that they stick nice to these switches happens very quickly. Oh, I gotta pull this second piece of heat shrink off because we need the positive connected pliers 
very great. Come on. So the other piece of shrink tube fell off. Here's the way here. This negative needs to go to one of the uh, pins of the switches, so I shouldn't have covered that up. It helps to get a, a drop of fairly fresh solder on there because there's a, a reactive core of flux. If you can get in there in a few seconds creates a nice beep. You can tell if you got a good connection if it doesn't come off. Next we need to connect the red, green and blue to the switches and then connect this blue wire to connect the two switches. It's kind of confusing but wow. Um, need more shrink tube. Before you solder your connections, put a piece of shrink tubing on that's a little bit shorter. So in this case, we've got the green here. You see the shrink tubing only comes up to here. Now I can solder that and then slide it up and then heat it. And then this will protect these connections. You see here that the shrink tube is longer than the solder the wrong angle for it. <clears throat> it's finicky little stuff. So now I know I can connect the red. I'm gonna pull the green and the blue out. They go on the other switch. This has been pre-tinned. A little fresh solder on there. This is called a third hand, these clamps here. They're holding both sides of the switch, and that way I can hold my thumb and guide it and then get the wire in the right place. Heat the solder up until it gels into a ball, and then let go. Oh, I have to cool it. So now we've got another pin here. Pull this negative out of the way. This one gets connected to the jumper switch that takes it into the second. So there's two pieces of shrink tube, one for this side, one for that side. These wires out of the way. Watch the fumes there, guy. It's going to be shorter. <clears throat> There's the difference between where I'm cutting it. Just need a little bit exposed. Don't breathe in these fumes, okay, Aslan? Mm -hmm. Hold your breath or stand back a bit. My nose. Yeah. <laughs> it's just really not in a great position. But. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, hang on a second. Hang on. There we go. Just like sometimes you get it. 
And these are all good like connections, they're solid. Now we just need to take this switch out. Put the second switch in. Take the third arm here. Oh, nice. Did that backwards. Did you notice that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is like gonna let me do that. <laughs> Maybe, well, I don't know, maybe he's doing it for a reason. <laughs> Everything on purpose. Cool, yeah, it's a neat tool. But <clears throat> why, how did you put two hands on there? Because this is three hands now. Because I got two hands in it. Well, it's actually it's more like four hands. And so, you see how fast it takes to get a little pool of solder in each of those terminals? And this one's going to go into the middle now, which will bridge the connection between these two switches. And then we just need to connect the blue and the green positive terminals here. work on the filming. Mm, you're welcome. It really doesn't matter which one you do, the blue or the green, the left or the right. Um, it was too long on there, but which is mechanical, it doesn't have any sensitive components. <laughs> okay, and I think that's it. This thing, when I put batteries in it, should light up the red, green, blues. <laughs> cool. There's the blues, there's the greens, and there's the reds. Nice, eh? Mm. That's it. The whites look, well, they look all right, actually. Mm -hmm. It's great. <laughs> Okay. Just before I check, I think I'm either 100% done this or 75% done this section. If there's four here, one, two, three, four, and one came on, nice. You see the light from itself is enough to shut it off. some cases. See how it gives you dimmer there? But if I turn this, flip it over. Dun, 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 dun. Switch. 100%. That is fantastic. What a project. This feels so good. Okay, one repair on the 80 meter and we're done this thing and I get my life back. Hope you have a good time at Water Woman. Just thought I'd make another quick video update because I missed a little part of the blue line there. There. Now we're really done. Except for that 80 meter section. Just quickly redoing uh, 80 meter here for a sec. And Gary and the, the folks are here. It's nice. Pick up their lights, those lights.
<laughs> he is baby old Dunsky ready to go to Vilcabamba. My good uh, LED mules here and also close friends and uh, currently co-creators as well. Awesome you've done this project. There you go Peter. Enjoy the life.